Hi everybody, my name is Amber Dean and I play French horn in the Palm Beach Symphony Orchestra. If you saw my last video, I talked about breathing and warming up the lungs. And once you've completed that step, you can move on to warming up on the horn. So what I typically like to do when I warm up, after I do my breathing exercises, I will move to my mouthpiece. I will start with the mouthpiece only. And when I start, I usually don't um, aim for any certain notes. I'll just start buzzing and see where it feels comfortable to play. And I will just kind of move around those notes and try to loosen up my lips that way. So it usually sounds something like this. typically do something like that for around a minute or if I feel like I need more time to get those lips loosened up I'll do it for even longer but most of the time it's usually around 30 seconds or a minute and once I've completed that step um, I will continue just using the mouthpiece and I'll play a couple of scales with a drone and this is the drone that I like to use I use tonal energy um, and this is the the wheel that you can use to set up a drone. So I'll usually start on concert F, R, C. So I'll press sustain, F. And then I'll usually start on the third space C and descend. And then I down to the middle C and then I'll go back up. On that I'll go down a half step and do it on concert E or B and I will continue to go down maybe I'll do three or four more scales, um, just depending on how I'm feeling that day. Then after I'm done doing that, I will actually move to the horn and I will continue with scales. And I usually, I will always start on middle C and I do two octaves descending. <laughs> can't get down that low don't worry just do one octave do just do whatever you can then I'll move up by half step <laughs> I'll continue moving up by half step until I get to the high C. By the time I get up there, um, I'm really not using much pressure at all on the lips to get those notes. So sometimes they may not speak at first, um, cause I'm all, and I'm also not using any tongue. It's all very relaxed. And so I try to keep the, I try to keep everything very relaxed from that middle C all the way up to the high C. And that, um, when I do, the reason I like to do descending scales is, is every time I go down the scale, I feel like it really opens everything up here. And that is something I really need when I'm, especially trying to get my high register ready to go, but also I don't want things to be too tight up here. When I'm finished with my scales, um, I will usually go on to long tones. And what I do for those, I will usually put on a metronome, usually around 60. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in the same app that I've been using. There we go. And what I'll do is I will play a six count crescendo and then a six count decrescendo. And I usually start on the third space C. And a lot of time I do it on the F side of the horn. So after I do that, I'll 
I'll go down by a half step, do the B. And I try to have as much control as I can through my crescendo and decrescendo. And so after I do that, um, I usually feel pretty warmed up and I'm ready to move on to other things like lip slurs or etudes or excerpts.